Hey everyone, this is Nate with Grower's House and today I have two very special LEDs that just were released onto the market for uh, hydroponic and indoor growing. Now these are the new Pro Series LED lights from LumiGrow and uh, the two lights they came out with were the 650 and the 325. Now these units are replacing their old model line which was the ES330 and the ES165. Now the 325 and the 650, that actually represents the wattage that these lights are consuming. Now, um, a lot of people will note that, you know, the last model was a 330 and you have a 325 to replace that and it's the same price, how could it be better? Well, um, the way the driver is designed in this unit, it's more efficient and so are the LEDs. So, the old LEDs used by the LumiGrow 330 were had a 22% efficiency rate, which was for every watt of energy input, it was 22% of that watt used as light output. These ones are now at 47%. So with this new 325, even though it's five watts less, it's putting out twice the light output of the old 330 model, and that's for the same price. Now, when you purchase these units, they come with just a few simple components and they are ready to go out of the box. Um, what you'll get are two A hanging hooks and just your standard 120 volt cord, although both of these units are able to operate between 100 and 260 volts. And these units will automatically know what voltage they're running on, so all you have to do is plug in the cord with the correct adapter, which looks like almost like your common uh, new age computer cord, and ones you use commonly with digital ballast, and this unit will be able to go. Um, and that's important especially because a lot of research institutions and commercial growers are using these units, which just lends to um, really how effective they are at uh, growing plants. So what I want to do is turn one of these units on and we can take a look at some of the features it has. Um, just before I turn it on, I want to give you a quick overview of the panel here. There are three dials that help you control the red spectrum, the white spectrum, and the blue spectrum of the LED dials here. And what this knob does is it goes from 0 to 10, and 10 will be max intensity of that spectrum, and uh, accordingly as you go down through the numbers to zero, which is zero intensity of that spectrum. Now this is a cool feature that wasn't on the last unit. Um, essentially there's an eyeball and then a leaf down here. Um, the eyeball, which I'll show you in a second, turns off the red and the blue LEDs, so only white is shining, which allows you to see your plants. Uh, I know with LEDs when you turn it on, it's really hard to see what's going on with your plants because it almost has a purpler spectrum mix from the red and the blue, but turning this up allows just the white to be shown so you can see if there's any deficiencies, uh, the coloration of your plant, and that's a pretty cool feature. So let's turn this guy on and see what it looks like. Um, okay, really quickly before I turn it on, I should also show you, before it starts blinding everyone, that there are um, some built-in axial fans right here and here and internally in the unit and this is the panel of the diodes, which are a combination of three and five watt diodes. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on. And you'll notice that as I turn it on, oops, let's turn that down. Cool. So I have it on the setting just for your eyes to look down at the plants below. If I turn into the flower setting with all of these knobs turned to zero, just the fans will be on and then I can slowly, I'll slowly start turning up the red spectrum and then I'll move on to the white and now I'll turn on the blue. So there you can see all three units at full intensity with this unit on and with that full intensity all the lights are on and um, the way, or the reason why LumiGrow has these different intensity knobs is that some of the more expert growers might want to tinker with how intense maybe their spectrum is during the vegetative or blooming phase um, which primarily will affect internodal growth. So let's say during vegetative growth you might want to turn these reds down about halfway so that you're a little bit 
white and blue dominant, but still having a red spectrum to make it full, and vice versa in flowering. Um, so that is a very, very cool feature. And again, your plants look funny under this red and blue light, like that, and we're back to just white light as if it was the ambient light in your living room. Very cool feature. So what we're going to do now is take both of these units, um, put them under a PAR meter on our footprint, and see what kind of intensity these guys are putting out. So let's jump into that. So here we have our PAR readings over our 4x4 four four foot grow footprint at 12 inches, 18 inches, and 24 inches above that 4x4 four four for the 325 and the 650. Now um, we have these readings for these units and more units on our website so be sure to click on the link below to go to our blog and see those readings. And here are some specs on the units.